Hey everyone, I'm Amber. And I'm Maddie. And, and we're, we're Witches, Witches Talking, Talking Tarot. Tarot. And today we are talking about all the ways you can make your V-Day magical. Yes. Or vagical. Right. I mean, that's what I said <laughs> when I was trying to say magical V-Day. Um, so I guess that that's a good way to intro this episode. Right. Magical V-Day. <laughs> yeah. Um, and gents, you're not, not included. I'm sorry. We just, we're not endowed with the D. I'm we just got the V like V-Day. Magical V-Day. <laughs> Wait, V-Day is a black. Oh, shit. And Sorry, once again, Davis. the government comes <laughs> <laughs> We're like flagged. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. That's so that's bad. Okay. That's, so that's okay. I'm sure they'll understand when they see it's called V-Day in some Right. Way that's another, so right? funny. Oh. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how you can spice up your romance, but also we're going to mm-hmm. be talking about self-love. self-love. Yes, For because that is who, very important. Oh, yeah. For those who are not in a relationship or for those who are in a relationship. Yeah, self-love is still important. Yeah, yeah like right. in my view on love as like I've gotten older and everything, right? Because like when you're a teenager, you view love one way. And then when you get older, you view it different ways, mm-hmm. right? So my view on love is like you can't really, really, really be loving others if you're not really loving yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's literally, I know that seems like a trope that you find in all these memes online, but... There is real truth to that mm-hmm. trope oh, that you see. Online. Well, you don't love yourself. That's when insecurities come in, and that's when there's like issues. And yeah, I totally yeah. agree. I totally yeah. agree. Um, no, totally. So, um, what? Do, which would we like to start with? Um, well, I think because self love is kind of like mm-hmm. for all of us. You want to start with self love sure. and different ways you can pamper yourself. For Valentine's Day and other times of the year. Right, it doesn't have to be specifically Valentine's Day. It doesn't, but we think it's a good time to talk about it because Mm -hmm. love is in the air. So one of my personal favorite ways to... um, to, to show that self-love, which I don't do often. Like, I need to do this. Like, my husband works, like, overnights, and my baby sleeps. Like, so why am I not doing this when my son yeah. goes to sleep? Yeah. Well, I do know why. It's because I'm fucking tired because he's going, all, you yeah, know what right. I'm just You're like, like, this is my time. I can do shit. Right. But, but, but not lay around. I love... Right, exactly. I love taking, like, a little mini ritual bath, which we'll I get into details ritual. about that. Yes. Um, but I also just love... In the winter time, specifically, putting on some fuzzy fucking socks, making a hot cup of tea, and watching a movie that I want to watch. Because oh, if you're yeah. in a relationship or you're in a bigger family, there's plenty of fucking movies you want to watch, and everybody's like, "Ew, mm. no, I don't want right? to watch that." Yeah, exactly. Like, and it's like, why not? And or and maybe, maybe for whatever reason, you just either don't like watching that around other people, or you feel cringy. I, right. I have Cring- movies. I feel cringy. For uh, love. Twilight. I love Twilight. <laughs> I can't watch it with my husband well, because I cringe. I cringe what? when I watch it by myself. One of my all-time favorite movies is Leaving Las Vegas, and it is a hard movie to watch if you've ever seen it. <laughs> the second-hand and, embarrassment. Well, it's just, it's rough. I can't watch it with other people, and I will cry. I am gonna, like, I cry, and I'm sorry, but I think self-induced crying is a form of self-love because you're helping get those well, emotions Well, it's like out. laughing, self-induced laughing, yes. laughing therapy. I would, yeah. that is on my those bucket list. Yeah. I wanted, dude, I can do that. I like PPD. I'd be like, yeah, this is a, a uh, like, a laughing therapy session and then just be like <laughs> I would like kind of love that <laughs> oh my god hire some pagan comics yes. to like keep the laughter going right I have somebody's like trying to find it's like the we're gonna go loud <laughs> now let's go quiet hello <laughs> you know what I mean I'm laughing about it but I mean, Even laughter, just pretending they say it's laughter nice. is the best medicine. Right. I, I'm, I'm like, it I really is. It makes you that. feel better. <laughs> and I mean, and from, so maybe a, watch a you know, from that release standpoint, I think crying, <clears throat> it makes you feel, it makes me feel better. And right. I like doing that with my alone time. Right. Not all the time, guys. I'm not one of them sad bitches. I'm talking about once in a while right. for self-love purposes to give me some me time. Like you're mm-hmm. saying where you get your fuzzy socks on and you a have your cup hot of cup of tea and, and, and you watch one of those movies. movies. It or can be a, reading a book. I like to put on music because my family gets irritated because I like to listen to my music loud. Right. So I will like when people are gone, I will kind of I'll put on whatever I feel like jamming out to, and then I'll like straighten up while I'm like jamming out and dancing in my living right. room. It's, and it's like I'm getting an exercise. I'm getting those endorphins going right. because I'm moving around and you're cleaning and I'm cleaning my <laughs> space. So it's like it's like this whole thing. And at the end, I feel better. 
Oh, yeah. I, I do. I believe it. I, I really, really do. It. I also feel better at the end of getting to sit there for two hours, curled up with a book, and then the first person walks through the door because my alone time is now over. There are all you, different like, ways when of you making have a yourself family, feel better. When you have a family and or you're in a relationship, not even just family, uh, having that alone time is important and it feels so good, but also yes. when it's over, it feels good too. It does. Because, because you're regenerating. Yes. Uh, regener rejuvenating. Yes, but I, I think regen. Well, Re yeah, we're doing it. We're not, we're not doctor. doctor. Yeah, you yeah, know, Doctor yeah. Who reference. <laughs> Sorry, because I did like the way regenerated was sounding, and then I realized why you stopped, and then I was like, "But it's still good." Yeah, but yeah. I get why it's um, maybe Android-y. Oh, right. Well, my <laughs> first thought was Doctor Who. The Doctor oh. regenerates and becomes a totally different, different person. person. But that's, that's why I thought it was. Good, right? Yes, <laughs> and that's exactly why I thought it was good. But I don't watch enough Doctor Who to understand what you meant by that. So yes. That is perfectly exactly it's why like I thought it was good. It's like every cell in his body changes and he becomes another person. Again, makes sense for what, what I was for, saying. Yes, exactly. I love that. But I think, I think like a comfort movie for me, one of my comfort movies is... Oh my God. I do Oh, okay. So I actually really like Clueless. I like Mean Girls. I'll, I'll watch Mean Girls. I love Clueless. Um, and... Uh, I realize sometimes I whisper too low and you can't hear it on the microphone. That's why I repeated myself, just so you're aware. <laughs> Love Actually is a good one. I, I, it's, it, I've it's, seen that like twice. I'm not as familiar. Just feel-good movies, basically. Yeah, see, my feel-good movies are not other people's feel-good movies. Like... Because, like, I like some, like, I love Clueless. I love Clueless. And I will put it on. And I love, it's so hard for me to think of, like, upbeat movies that I like to watch. Because my my movies, I like to watch, like, Bram Stoker's Dracula. And oh, I absolutely. like to watch From Dusk Till Dawn. I, um, I do love I those. I love, like, that's. I, that's a comfort movie for me mm -hmm. from dusk till dawn. I don't care how many tits are in it. I don't care. <laughs> well, no, I all totally the weird, love them. You know, mm -hmm. I love that movie and it's a comfort movie for me. Um, and I know that's kind of weird to some people who like, you know, like, cause I like stepbrothers and I love, I love the other step guys. Brothers. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, and, uh, Oh, for us. Oh, like uh, Stranger Than Fiction is such a good movie. I love watching it. So my thing, like just me personally, I watch a lot of horror and murder and, you know, science fiction. And, and there are times where I watch so much of it. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm just I'm absorbing this just well, negative and see, energy. That's where like, yeah, I desensitizing like, myself my TV to this, you know? watching. I watch <laughs> comfort stuff. I watch cartoons all the Dad, time. Exactly. That's my comfort. American Dad, Rick and Morty. Um, I'm Fucking not a fan Mike of Rick and Morty. Tyson! I, wish... I love Mike Tyson. Oh man, that's so mysteries. funny! Oh my god, it's so fucking funny! I love King of the Hill. I thought it was gonna be so stupid. I never ever watched it. Uh, when that's I had why cable. I haven't watched it. Is it's it not stupid? Ha! Hilarious. Now, partly it's hilarious because at the end you got Mike Tyson making commentary, and he's like, "Got his list." I mean, he's not I mean, talking that's... sense. Yes, he's got his list, but like, <coughs> some the... of the shit he says just doesn't make sense. Like one episode, there was like a smoothie or a juice in it. I don't know. But at the end, he's like, I love this smoothie. And he's drinking the smoothie. He's like, it's got pomegranate juice and this juice and this juice and other juice. Yeah. And Joe's the smoothie. Fuck? And it's so fucking funny. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. I'm a yeah. big King of the Hill person for but, Yeah. Corey I love the King first the episode of King, King of the, King of the Hill. Hill when Bobby gets hit in the face with the fucking baseball and somebody calls CPS <laughs> and fucking it's 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 hilarious. It's just uh, and then I love Bobby the accidentally episodes. hits fucking Peggy in the face with the fucking baseball so they both got a black eye and CPS <laughs> is coming like, Are you okay? She's like, Yeah, what are you talking about? He's like, Blink if you need help. You know? and <laughs> she's like, What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like this huge misunderstanding. Uh, I forget, like I haven't seen like I love I know um, that one because I've watched I love Halloween. One. I love Halloween. It's the oh, one shit. where like um, uh, I can't He's remember like the, the devil, actress's Bobby's name, the devil. but d Bobby puts on the like way too small devil costume because there's the like really churchy lady who's like Halloween's evil and oh, gets like bad. and like gets everybody to boycott Halloween and Luann like gets Bobby to boycott Halloween and then she feels bad and she puts devil horns up and she comes up to Hank and she's like trick or treat smell my feet she's like got tears coming down and he's like. 
It's okay. I don't fucking hate you. you my know? husband does I love like, King of the Hill. I like to say I married a hot Hank Hill. My my husband does the King of the Hill voice all the time. It drives me nuts. He's like, oh. damn it, Theodore. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, when I hear that, I think of Beavis and Butthead because that's oh. where it came from. The neighbor says that. Oh yeah, He's it's like. like I can't remember but what he says. But he now. tells Bobby, dang it. Right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, but yeah. Everybody yeah, just but confuses the two. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's said the same way. You know it's a throw act. Just yeah. like <laughs> Corey was saying, did you know they're doing a new Beavis and Butthead? No, I'm not a fan of Beavis they're, and Butthead. They're I wish I was. It, but Corey had the best idea. He's like, they should have brought... They should have had Daria come back as their social worker and their two single dads trying to get their shit together. Oh my god, that'd be funny. <laughs> and I was like, God, Corey, you should email Mike Judge. Like, don't don't take the brush off. You need to get this idea to the man. I I was not a Beavis and Butthead fan. I hated their stupid. Mm-hmm. I'm a it, girl it's though. So but I'm it's a just, girl. Ew. It's boy comedy. It's all fart jokes and, and masturbation sister, and whatever. My sister used to walk around and she would piss my dad off because she would say TP for my bunghole. Oh god. And my dad would be like, "That's vulgar. I'm tired of you saying this shit." And my sister would I be was like, a "Daria." Yeah. See, I was a Daria fan. I like the Beavis and Butthead spinoff of Daria, which is why when Corey said that I was like fuck yeah <laughs> also our middle daughter watches Daria which makes me proud because uh, yeah but she just chose to back on, back on top uh, sorry, of and you watch your um, but, first of yeah, all I yeah, just again for guys I said you would be included right. so feel good shit and I'm curious what is your comfort movie or do you have a comfort show I have totally didn't mention Full House I should have because yeah. Full House well, is mine. your comfort show right yeah, so I, I'm curious what everybody has and if you have any recommendations uh, but yes uh, you can put your oils on and just yeah, fucking and just Kick chill. Back Light some and candles. Relax. relax. Have some me right. time. And put before, a little rose quartz around. Right. Put some other stones around that make you feel empowered. Exactly. That you feel like absorb your negativity, feed you power. Whatever it is Excuse that you're looking for at that time. Because self-love is all about connecting with you. Yep. And taking care of that. Exactly. Seeing where you have open needs. Mm-hmm. Which is funny because that's the horoscope one of the horoscopes we wrote yesterday so if you want to read what i'm talking about hit up our patreon yeah sorry i didn't mean to do that before you pamper yourself to do no no before you pamper yourself we Mm. i had mentioned ritual baths do you have any info on that (sighs) like there's so many different like so my thing for ritual baths is i feel like you should definitely incorporate things that are personal for you Mm -hmm. or maybe not personal maybe it's not the right word but what you like there's no wrong way to do it I guess is the way to say this Mm -hmm. right because a you can always take a shower after your bath if you choose to put something in the bath that you don't want to stay on your skin like a lot of people do that with bubbles yeah um like I was gonna say let's be clear if I take a bath generally speaking I do shower afterward because, like, I the can't bath stand is for the relaxation. feeling. Yeah, yeah, it's, not the I was, Yeah, <laughs> and that's, I'm that kind of person. I'm like, I'm not stewing in a. Somebody once talked about. Anyway, I don't want to ruin don't, the bath don't for anybody. Bro, I know exactly so, yeah. what you're talking so, about. So, but like with ritual baths, I Just love. <laughs> I love to put now that I use black charcoal uh, mm-hmm. powder for my toothpaste. I love to incorporate that in my ritual baths to kind of like just sit there in that absorbing all that negativity just oh, right absolutely. out of me you know what i mean mm-hmm. and oils incorporating any kind of oils you like and if you don't use oils epsom salt is a great base for oh, any absolutely. ritual bath well and when like you, i think it's a perfect base for any ritual you bath. have I mentioned use it. uh oat oatmeal and, and milk you a lot milk, of people yeah. have oatmeal uh-huh. and milk and i used to use it for my uh, um, eczema all the time doesn't necessarily have to be like apple cinnamon oatmeal right yeah, yeah like, i bet that smells good i bet it smells good but i bet plain is probably preferential yeah, for your better. skin absolutely it's probably really it's good it is really good oh, for your absolutely. skin if you put uh cream or milk and uh-huh. um oats and you could even incorporate honey i was gonna say but honey. we were talking about it because you're pregnant and that's where yeah. this came mm-hmm. from so from a standpoint of pregnancy would you think honey would be safe to put in the bath externally so my my idea. thoughts on honey mm-hmm. is gonna get a little 
magical. I, I, oh, okay. Don't mind me. Oh yeah, I didn't you know, think about people, that. Yeah, some people you're are sitting there soaking it up. Well, some people are really sensitive to uh -huh. sugar. Sugar, and honey yeah, has and so, much, so sugar. much sugar. Yeah, no, I picked up exactly. So when, like, yeah. it sounds because like the oats in themselves are going to have sugar. Yes, natural sugars mm -hmm. in the oats and the milk. And the milk has natural sugar. So yeah, adding the honey, I didn't even think about that. I'm glad we talked about. But not everybody's like that. Like I can use bath bombs. You know, no, no. I mean, some people can. Well, and my best friend Ashley, she. You know, she doesn't like baths a Men, whole lot. Men, I think you're okay for the most part. Yeah. Because like, you got your little Well, Abby. yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? You can you can bathe in whatevs, lucky boys. Um, <laughs> but, unfortunately, but yeah, it's not like, that you way. know, not just X, but UTIs from sitting yeah, in oh, bath water with honey and that sugar. Mm -hmm. So the that, honey, yeah, that so was my honey's first no go. Song. My bad, guys. Don't I mean, do you it. Can if you, you can want if you want, want but like, don't do it because Amber said it. Well, some people can like do like all that whipped cream and shit, and oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Sugar's that terrified me. Like, I, you I'm just, <laughs> you just, I was 12 and I was told this thing. You know how when you're like in middle school and everybody tells you false sex information? Like, oh, I, absolutely. I was told that oral copulation, you know what I was told it was what? to start? That essentially like a fruit salad of grapes and strawberries is stuffed up there. And he eats it out of you. That's why it's called eating out. And I was like, no, I hate grapes and strawberries. I, I like grapes and strawberries. But, but I don't want them in, in me either. Uh, but I did. I, I was not a video. fruit eater as a kid. I got to say, I love this fucking episode. <laughs> <laughs> but that is what I was told Explicit. oral sex was. And I, as a 12-year-old girl, was just like, who, no. who does that? Like, they do that on purpose? Like, you want to do that? No, like, some people are really girl. into, like... So, early 90s, guys. Well, uh, some people are really into, like, food. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really not. Uh, do like, you watch my coffee and you're like, okay, yeah. now I'm going to say it. Okay. <laughs> <I> say it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, like, the whipped cream thing? Look, because it's probably, like, partially melted. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it... Li like, uh, but if you're but it's that, funny no because hate. like the the things that I experimented with as a youth. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Because uh, when you're a youth, you're told all the bad sex info. Oh my goodness. So then you're a teenager experimenting, and you're like, oh, I want to, I want to do these things that I've thought about or been told about, and you do shit, and then like you're in your late thirties, and you're like. That was a waste of chocolate syrup. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't stand being sticky. So like, oh my god, it's god. like god. stick. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, so we're gonna get back on topic right, to right. ritual baths as soon as I say, I had a boyfriend in high school whose fantasy was a tub full of blue jello. Jello? Blue jello. Why? Why blue? I That's don't know specifically blue jello. But people I just have to share that with so you guys. People are so strange. Like, people are so strange. Yeah, so I'm not going to ask I, that question. I, I, Never mind. That's too personal. So what are you into? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. And I was like, that is too far. Seriously. Because, like, and this is, hey, I'm sharing not what I'm into. Like, we're, from we're 20 talking years about ago. Valentine's Day. So yes. I think it's totally so it's safe. totally appropriate. That's why I said it. Otherwise, I would have just kept that, that little so in my funny. brain when it popped out. Because I was just like, oh, the So after jello your little blue jello. <clears throat> yeah. And you're all sticky. Yeah, and then I show that to get unstingy. <laughs> with and like you can use uh, you know citrus. depending you, oh Slices citrus of you like mentioned oranges and yes. limes and it would oh smell so good and if you're sensitive to oils it would so not be concentrated so uplifting yes and it would have the fruit juice in there too it you would can, be very uplifting even do it would like, have a wonderful smell it would be great for your skin oh, because absolutely. citrus oils and citrus juice oh, is really you. good for your skin um, really good. Well, my thought was like milk and then slices of apple <clears throat> and then stick Ooh. cinnamon, like a cinnamon Oh, stick. yes, a natural oh. apple cinnamon bath. Yeah, you could add the oatmeal so to that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, my God. There what are so many things nice. you can do, and it'd just be yes. so relaxing. Or rose petals. If you, you mentioned don't rose petals. Right, rose petals, of course. Yes. I love or them. if you're not pregnant, you could do things like lavender yeah, or other flowers, right. jasmine. Or you can add I associate oil. jasmine with love in like one Oh, absolutely. Percent. So you can add oil to your ritual bath if mm -hmm. you're yeah. not pregnant. Right. Um, if you don't want to add oil because you're afraid of infection or right. just the way it'll work, it'll affect your skin. Mm -hmm. If you have an oil diffuser, you can yeah, get that you can going. have it going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good Absolutely. idea. 
Right. Or yeah. even an or oil an, spray. Yeah, or you can have oil for afterward if you don't want to right. bathe in it, but you are okay with using body oil because oh, it's absolutely. not going into internal places. Yes, absolutely. That's that would awesome. be good. Yeah, because I love, um, I mean, I always put oil on after I bathe no mm -hmm. matter what, but I love, if I haven't had oil in my bath, which I, I usually do, but if I don't have oil in the bath with the salt, I will put it on my skin afterward. Or if I take a charcoal bath and then I shower afterward mm -hmm. to get the black charcoal mm -hmm. off of right, me. Right, of course, yeah. Because um, obviously that's a thing to do. Uh, uh, so I don't go to bed and get the sheets all dirty and have to do laundry. I shower and I'll point, anoint with oil afterward and you could make that oil something special. Like Spiritual if I, oil. yeah, because if I do a ritual bath, like if I'm doing my black charcoal ritual bath, mm -hmm. which I usually do incorporate oils into, but I'm always gonna wash afterward because mm -hmm. of the charcoal. Um, I usually, I start with Epsom salt and I put the black charcoal in and then depending on what the ritual bath is for, I'll put other things in the bath as well, um, knowing because of black charcoal that I will be washing afterward. So I usually will have a special kind of body oil to anoint with afterwards mm -hmm. because call me frou-frou or whatever, I do refer to it as anointing with oil every time I use it. Like whether it's a daily after my bath thing or not, I anoint with oil every day. Well, and if you um, don't want to use like strongly scented or essential oils like yeah mixes. well i mean because my daily is not a strong well no yeah. no like but you you use yeah. uh baby oil well you yeah. could you well, could put um, i use um i use co co cocoa and something it's shea like, butter yeah yeah cocoa and shea butter ba baby oil because well, do you think you could put a sprig of like something uh -huh. in there you definitely you can. don't have to you can. boil or, it or make it right you know or what i usually <clears> do is i will take that as my base for if I'm going to use oils at, cause mm -hmm. you don't want to put too much essential oil on your oh, body, absolutely right? Not, no. So like I will just put like a drop or two into my oh, really? base and then I will start, you know, cause mm -hmm. I, I have a, a rhythm of how I go. And I usually don't incorporate that on my face. Right, of course uh, not. Sometimes I might put it up here, mm -hmm. but otherwise it doesn't go on my facial right, skin right. just for I don't, safety. I don't want it to get, I don't want essential oils in my eyes. Or oh, absolutely, like absolutely, or a rash. Yeah, like you gotta be careful. Yeah, and, and I have <clears throat> very sensitive skin, so I, if I use an oil, it's because I have tested it. Like personally, if you have sensitive skin, test your oils oh, before yeah. you use them. Oh, absolutely. I personally can't use lotions, they almost, all give me rashes. Oh, that's um, sad. Yeah, except like probably Eucerin cream doesn't, but that's too expensive. So on the, so, on the spiritual yeah. note, you know, we've got self-love spell jars and I love these. Yes. I love these. I see them everywhere. You know, you have like your jar and you've got your herbs, your chosen mm -hmm. herbs, which you can find yes. at your local Whole Foods store or herb store. Or right, or you Asian can buy market. from somebody that makes oh, spell absolutely. jars. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, because uh, like you could get a love spell jar that is for self-love. You know oh, what or I mean? you can buy... Like, piece of, it's I, like you make spell. Like I do you make, make love I do spell make jars. Love spell and jars. everything that goes in there would be appropriate for self love. Oh, absolutely, it? absolutely. Yeah. Because the way that I make my spell jars are, I put the herbs in there, and they can be incorporated for self love. They can be incorporated for for love, romantic love. It's your intention. I exactly. Just the that base. was where I was going. With you that. seal yes. it like, if you don't mind. Yeah. With your the wax. Um, and as you do so, you add your intention, your mm -hmm. chance. It's just a base for you to start. Yeah. You know what I mean? At yeah, least I, I, think I hope great. that makes sense because I, yeah. I, I wanted to reach well, people who are beginners. Yeah, yes. exactly. Because Cause like yeah. if I were going to do a self-love spell jar, I would put specific things to me because oh, a i'm close to 40 years old i know myself fairly well at this point i'm constantly open to oh, learning absolutely. more about mm -hmm. me and trying to learn more about me from me you know what i right, mean that's such a and good idea yeah. like like okay i love lavender i'm gonna put lavender yes you exactly I mean? that's how i would do a self-love spell jar mm -hmm. is i love these things like so for me jasmine makes me feel so I love good jasmine. i love jasmine like there's this book called jitterbug perfume that i think i've talked to you about before by tom robbins and i love it and the whole book is about perfume really and it's about beets and i'm going to i decided as we were prepping for this episode actually because i was like oh i wish i had some of my special jasmine oil mm -hmm. that i make for myself that i could wear when we do this episode because i have because of this book jitterbug perfume i made my own um oil to make me feel good and beautiful and like just because jasmine right so like the the base note 
is bergamot, and then the main note is jasmine, and then the top note, I either use clementine or tangerine. I love citrus. I know, and it goes so well with jasmine, and when you do it that way for this scent, like, it really does, when you try to build it like a perfume in that way, it comes off that way. Like, I, 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 I love that. I worked it really well, this one. It's for me, it's mine, and yeah. I, I, I put everything into it for me. Um, not to say I don't put everything into the oils I make for other people, but this, this was is personal. Per personal and specific, and I, I specifically wanted it to be like a mm -hmm. perfume without being a perfume. Right. I wanted it to be an anointing oil that would come off like a perfume, because I, uh, I don't know how many people know m about perfumes. I only know because of things that I've randomly learned, but like the way a perfume is built is you're supposed to smell different things at different times mm -hmm. after the perfume's been applied to the person. And that is exactly, like, I wanted you to not smell an amalgamation of these oils. I wanted you to smell the bergamot moving into the jasmine, mm -hmm. moving into the whatever. And I've decided I think I'm going to buy, see if I can find beet essential oil, because that's the secret ingredient really? in the that's book, crazy. is beets. Um, and I want to see if I can find beet essential oil and see what it does for that. Like thinking about it for this episode is what made me decide I have to do that. I just haven't gotten to do it I wonder yet. what that would smell like. Um, yeah. So like I, 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 I do, do too. I, I literally really do. do. I'm I have not no a fan idea. of beets. I hate them. I, but I, d I, I don't really I smell eat them, them if somebody opens a can and says, do you want some beets? And I'm Who like, the hell does that? <laughs> do they do that? You know, people like pickled beets. My husband, you know, not my husband, my family did that. So when I say who the hell does that, I don't mean that in offensive sense. Okay. I mean, yeah, my like, family did I'm that. Like, I'm just like, random just people a, that I've known that eat beets. A fucking can I of think beets. it's like if you like beets, you do that. I don't know. Because I guess I could see beets. me like opening pickles and being like, you want a pickle? And maybe some people would see that like the same weird way. I don't know. I don't know. My but mom that's, used like, to make canned beets. Because I'm not a butter. huge beet person. And it was, it was. Is that good? No, obviously I don't not. Like beets. Yeah, obviously <laughs> so not. So I've never had pickled beets. I'm scared to try it because I don't like. I've canned only beets. had pickled and canned. That's and I mean I will. They're not so bad they that I won't have a eat sweet them. Scent now that I think about it, yeah, it like, is slightly sweet. The um, canned anyway, not the yeah. pickled. I mean, um, I think I feel like the pickled for a pickled item has a sweet undertone as well. I've only had them a couple times. Like I said, I'm not a big, I've only had it when people had it open and they're like, you want one? And I tried one once and it wasn't so bad that I wouldn't eat it again. I can see And where I'm it's one left, of those though. people that's really, I can have to see how it's Because of the color. And the, the and shape. And the shape, it's like a it's heart. It's a heart, exactly, yes. yes. And yes, exactly. Yeah, um, I like that. But yeah. yeah, like, I don't know. I just like, it's not so bad that I won't eat it, but I'm not a big fan. I'm pretty picky. So it's when spell it jars and, and creating, yeah, yeah, right, and creating your own. Yes. It's kind of the texture and you of can like, include, I'm sorry, carrots, like, yeah. like canned oh, carrots. Oh, carrots, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so if spell, uh, if spell jars and, and oils like that yeah. are not really your thing, um, go for a fucking girls' night. Fuck, Why yes. not? Fuck then. Right? Just kidding, well, and you. even, like, Just whether you have a partner or not, you can still have a girls' night and enjoy exactly. platonic love. Right. You know, like. There is nothing Friendship. more supportive than drunk girl messages in a bar bathroom. Have a, a vodka cranberry, because to me, cranberries love. Oh, yeah, you know absolutely. I mean? And, like, here's my thing about, like, love associations is, like, you as a person mm -hmm. have whatever associations you have for, like, your own preferences because of pop culture, whatever. So, like, each of us as people can do things with our love concoctions yeah. that maybe a book wouldn't say that has love connotations if it has love connotations to you i think you should use it for your love stuff you know what i mean does that make sense right absolutely yeah so like when you say like i say cran you know cranberry because it, it makes me think of love and i'm like i just want other people to think like have that will like not willingness have feel like they oh, right. have the empowered to just take what they feel like use your intuition and do what you well, feel have, versus what the books tell you, you know, exactly the, there's so many different things like yeah. um since we're specifically talking about girls night like going out to the bar or whatever yeah. they have fucking uh oh my god what are they called they're like chocolate fucking milkshakes but they're not um oh my god they're so good point is chocolate like the, 
Oh, okay. I was thinking like I was thinking like the boozy chocolate. Yeah, milkshakes. boozy chocolate. Yeah. Oh, I love I'm boozy milkshakes. I'm like, boozy milkshakes the are the best remember, thing like, ever. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, mudslides. Oh, mudslides. Yeah. Oh, there's, so oh, there's one at this place up around the corner from my house. Uh, that they have one called the Dude. It's like a white Russian milkshake. It's so good. Oh, that sounds well. Because they have boozy milkshakes. They have different kinds of drink, like mixed drinks, uh -huh. that they have created into a milkshake. It's oh, so that sounds good. delicious. I yeah, say vodka cranberry year. because that's like my go-to. Yeah. And it just reminds me, my husband and I were bar hopping on vacation before my son and I with his sister, and I got fucked up on two vodka cranberries, and my fucking sister-in-law was like, "I'm judging you. You can only handle two." Vodka vodka cranberries like damn bitch, bitch I, I don't, don't drink, drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because like i'll have two amaretto sours because like amaretto sour is the drink where i feel like if Corey and I are on a date, like, I have an amaretto up. sour <laughs> oh yeah absolutely pinky up i feel a little fancy and it like it's almost aphrodisiac like for me right because like my other go-to drink is a bloody mary um but that's that doesn't kinda, that sounds I've never had a bloody mary I'm scared too because it sounds so gross I'm not gonna lie is it do you like tomato juice is it does it taste like v8 like that's about it like I mean I my friends and I have made uh -huh. um bloody marys with v8 I've and vodka. never had them I mean, it's, I like it's tomato, tomato juice, juice but is it like cold tomato soup I've never had one I'd love to try one it it's not Probably like cold not tomato soup. No, it's not shit. like cold tomato soup. It is just like a V8. Um, really, like if you're talking about tomato juice itself, it's like a V8. Um, but it's really spicy when it's a Bloody Mary. I always oh, have to request it, it you have not to be add spicy. Something they, they put black pepper and usually Tabasco sauce in. But as we've s spoken, I believe I told you black pepper is like so hot to my tongue for some right, reason. Right, right, right. Like I can't handle black pepper. The Tabasco is fine. The black pepper is what kills me. Um, and in seafood restaurants, they usually have like a shrimp, a cocktail shrimp in it with an olive. Um, or a I've celery. gotten one. I, I had one that had a pickled okra and the olive and the shrimp. And that was the my I, favorite. I uh, do want to try it. I've ever had. It's on my, it's on but my I think like, list. Even if you don't go out to the club, if you just go out for drinks, I think that's a great way. Cause like I have a girlfriend that for Valentine's, I'm going to take her out and just she and I, we're going to go have drinks. Like, low-key, we're not going to a club. We're going to just go to a bar. We're going to have nice drinks. And we're going to, like, feel good about ourselves. Bloody we're going to dress sounds up. sounds very feminine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, like, you could totally see, like, yeah. you know, as, and as, like, yeah. embracing mm -hmm. uh, some feminine, feminine. energy. Yeah. Um, I'd love to try it, but when I think fun, uh, delicious drinks, I think sweet. Mm -hmm. and, and it's more savory. I would love to try it. I can't I, wait to try it. Yeah. I don't, I'm not promising I'll like it. Yeah, My mouth is watering yeah. talking about it, but that's probably because yeah. I'm pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Everything sounds good. <laughs> I don't know. I had tomato soup. Oh, yeah, this is not talking. <laughs> anyway, so, so I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like girls' nights in general. Even you guys could go to a movie. Oh, like absolutely. if you're not drinkers, there's all sorts of different things you can do oh, to have goodness. a girls' night and enjoy yes, each other. Popcorn. If you like shopping, is therapy. Oh, absolutely. Oh my God, get your shopping. hair done. Get your hair done. Love but it. You nails. Don't have love to going to my friends to get my nails done. Necessarily spend money to do Wait, so. Oh, you yeah, can have a you, girls' night. You can. Like, yeah, you can. Oh yeah, we've had. I don't know. I can't remember. You made it. Midnight I did not, but yeah. I remember you had but, it. Yeah, well, we're going to do it again because the, uh, our lady is coming into town, and uh, she suggested we should do that, and I was like, yes. I'm going to have to be sober. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. But I'll, 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 it, it would be fun. I mean... <laughs> I, I can't, think that's yeah. why I didn't make it to the other one. No, I mean, so. That's right. I think Theo is why you did it. <laughs> I, oh, I it's okay. We'll so still have more Midnight Margarita Nights and, and Practical well, Magic. Well, I mean, I would love to watch. So I would love to girls go. and guys. You guys can do the same thing, which I think guys do self-love a lot with video games. No judgment. I don't like video games, but I I'm not judging you. I think guys do self-love a lot in a lot of different ways. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well yes, and, you they know, play like their video uh, games, and then not to be stereotypical, only men do that because right, we women play too. video games too. And, I'm not discounting. Like I just mean like hair done. I think men are more at because more men play video games. There's more likely to be a group of guys who are each in their own home playing video games together on a regular basis, getting that camaraderie like that, or whatever. Head, no, and no, that's no, what no, I mean no. by they do self love a lot. So I'm not trying to hate guys. I was just saying like, was, well, that is a way of self love. Like you're taking time to do something you enjoy you're spending time with
with your mates, you're having that camaraderie, and that is all I mean. So no I almost hate, said, gentlemen. well, men think more about themselves. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, but I'm just kidding, you guys. I'm just kidding. We have, like, <laughs> men and women have very different thought processes, oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. we are just, we want you guys to feel included. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Please feel Yeah, so, like, we and don't mean to like, presume. Well, we don't mean like to presume. Well, if you like going to the barbershop and getting your hair done, or yeah. hell, if you like going to the salon and getting your hair done. Or your nails. You know, men get manicures now. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell and, yes. And, uh, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, there's all sorts of ways of self-love. Get a new pair of shoes. My husband always needs new shoes. Like, that man has, like, size 15 feet. Seriously, it's like 15 or 16. I can't find him shoes. I can't. Go to the local Applebee's. To. Yeah. <laughs> What's Eating good in the neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, What's some sports? <laughs> camaraderie yeah again um, i am just kidding yeah <laughs> go to sit at the bar make a new friend dudes need friends you know i mm, we've been to the applebee's and chili and we always see like some random guy sitting at the bar drinking by himself i'm like damn he needs who friends. hurt you why are you yeah. going to the applebee's and get fucked up at the bar and that's what? why i say go get a drink make a new friend or maybe he's practicing self-love yeah. and he's and like he's, i gotta I, get out of here i want to do this this yeah. is me time i exactly. don't want my wife in my ear I don't want my or kids my husband. telling me I don't they want need anybody. to go to the headband store and they need me to build them a science project. Fuck it, I'm getting fucked up at the Applebee's yeah. tonight. <laughs> That's right. Eating good in the neighborhood. Sorry. <laughs> right. I just, yeah, my dad used to work um, at Applebee's. I do like Applebee's. I'm not going to, well, you know. My dad, like most restaurants my dad used to work at, I don't eat there anymore because I ate there so much when he worked there. Applebee's. Really? Yeah. Cracker That's Barrel is one of the few that I still eat at. And I think it's because I was so young and he worked there for such a short period of time. We only ate there like a dozen times. I've never been to Cracker Barrel. I love Cracker Barrel. I just want some damn Southern mac and cheese. We talked about I it. Can't, in the yeah, car. I was gonna say I can't verify how good their mac and cheese is. I used to love. They used to have a barbecue platter, and you get baby little baby carrots and something else with it, and it was like my favorite thing to eat. But mm. they got rid of the barbecue. So. Mm, I know. I'm hungry. Bar yeah, barbecue is my thing. So, I do like yeah. barbecue. Texas. Um, have a barbecue. Great. Now all like the Memphis and Georgia people are gonna be like, our barbecue is better. Well, like, then I'm there's from Kansas Texas. City barbecue. Kansas City barbecue yeah. is good. But, but I'm from Texas. Obviously, I'm gonna be like barbecue if I'm saying Texas, and we're talking about barbecue. Just makes sense I that I would throw the out there why I love barbecue. Give me the brisket. Fuck yes, <laughs> brisket. Dude, so, somebody. I'm so sorry. You know Just what? We're, we're talking, talking about, about meat. barbecue. Oh. I know. Um, somebody in one of the the cooking groups I'm in was like. If you got burnt ends, it means you don't know how to grill. Bitch, do you know what burnt ends are? Like They're so good. <laughs> okay, they go anyway. so quick. Anyway. Um, <laughs> they do. They're the best. So we're talking about meat. Do you want to move into aphrodisiacs or Sure. The so meats? my first thought was sausage. Okay. That's why yeah. I put <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, I think you mentioned uh, oysters. Oysters, yeah. Like, my first Valentine's Chocolate. with Corey was uh, we got... We, were, we went to the Olive Garden and we got mussels because it's shellfish and they're supposed to be aphrodisiacs. I want shellfish. And yeah, I was a brazen little hussy and I like put my hand on his thigh and he was like, and I then I put his hand on my thigh and he was like, what? And I was just like, it's Valentine's yes. Day. <laughs> the fucking Red Lobster. <laughs> right here at the oh, Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> mussels. I'm eating mussels, sir. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not sure if you went to the Red Lobster. But no, it was, it was the Olive Garden. Oh, yeah. Olive Garden. Olive Garden in Memphis. Yeah. They um, have, like, they used, I don't know if they still do, but they had a mussels appetizer. It was steamed Oh, mussels. really? Wow. Yeah. I do like cooked uh, yeah, mussels. Yeah, but I'm not, shellfish I, I is my favorite. Shellfish is definitely my favorite aphrodisiac food. We've got the I chocolate strawberries. Oysters. Oh, chocolate covered fruit in general. Choc oh, yeah. Chocolate oh covered strawberries. God. That is my request for every anniversary. Because um, Corey I'm makes. Make some. I'm yeah, going to make some. I'm going to tell makes my me. husband, too. Like, yeah, he on makes them. He, we don't make buy them. He yeah. makes them. Yeah. Let's mm, mm. some chocolate yeah. over there. And, like, no, and you, you can, can do, do it fancy. Oh, you can do pineapple, bananas. Banana, very phallic. <laughs> um, for our gentlemen like, friends. for this for me. Well, like, they have the <laughs> chocolate-covered banana popsicles. You freeze the banana and then... Oh, like, seriously. Have... And it's very phallic. And if you're trying to get your man interested... Be like, mmm. Aw. <laughs> I am like, I'm sure there are okay. some gentlemen out for there who a, have the talent to for take that whole banana. Raw banana. Just the banana. I'm so scared it's going to... Oh, crack. Oh, oh, yeah, but a frozen one. A frozen I'm talking one. frozen yeah, covered okay. in chocolate. It's very hard, <laughs> just like what you're going for there. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm trying to think of other aphrodisiac foods. I mean, on the topic uh, like of there's herbs, Mexican, you can make wait, sex Spanish cheese. fly. Oh, like really? that is like oh yeah, Spanish fly was a huge. It's an herb, I think. Um, oh, is it? It's a huge thing. Like from the '90s, you heard it in pop culture all the time growing mm -hmm. up. Spanish fly is supposed to make men very. Well, you've got the horny, and there's horny goat horny weed, exactly. Because Spanish fly. Well, makes and the thing about horny goat, goat weed, weed is it's good for the heart. It's not just good for, for the libido. The libido. Well, that's yeah. why it's good, good for, for the libido because it's good for the simia, the, the not blood the, vessels, the blood vessels yeah, in yeah. the heart right. working. Because when the blood's flowing good. A blood the blood's flowing good. good. Right, yeah. exactly. Because, I mean, isn't that what those little blue pills do? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, same exactly. thing. But absolutely. this is a natural way of doing oh, that, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. And I think Spanish fly is very similar to that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it actually is. Maybe Spanish fly is horny goat weed. We should probably look it up so we can... Well, make, I think I know. read that horny goat know. weed can get women going, too, but maybe uh -huh. not as much as men. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I, like, like I said, like, I mostly know of Spanish fly from, like, pop culture, but mm -hmm. I've still seen it to this day in, like, those little gas station... Mm -hmm. uh, don't take things. those. Don't take. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm just saying. I've seen them there. Seen them there. Just seen them there. You, I you, haven't you bought see it. like the dollar. Yeah. Like I Corey, want. my husband likes to get my suspicions going because it amuses him to buy the shit out of those little vending machines to see. So I'll like be going through his car and I'll find like an electric blue condom. And as we've discussed, I can't use latex. So I'm like, why do you have a fucking blue condom, sir? He's like. Oh, <laughs> he, <laughs> Yeah, gotcha. he's like, yeah, yeah. he's like, oh, I just had to see what you'd get out of the coin machine. And I'm just like, I wish those things didn't exist because I know his personality enough to believe him, but my suspicious oh. wifiness goes, well, why you got a condom in your car? Well, I think men are just kind of dumb with that sort of thing sometimes because I have come home to a uh, uh, open condom. What the fuck is, why is this open? I was playing with it. I told you I was doing it. I know. I believe he did that. Yes. I believe. I'm like, why were you playing with? Why? Like, don't make suspicious wife come out. It wasn't used. It was just open. And he's like, I wanted to see how far it would stretch. I believe him. I believe him because men are. I mean, they are. My husband. Yeah. I mean, I hate to say that. But I do believe that. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Why would you blow why would up? You, a, yeah. Why would you do that? I mean, I won't lie. I'm pretty sure teenage Amber did try to blow up a condom like a Oh, blower. absolutely. And then I, I wanted discovered to put that it on you, my legs. Like, and that's how I was like, why do they tell you to use condoms for oral uh, sex? Because this is nasty tasting. Yeah, also, like... Well, like, But that's why flambered condoms exist. Right, you know? exactly. But, but then it means it's like you got to switch out condoms from... Anyway, I'm married, so I... Whatever. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Thank God. Anyway, um... So, uh, so aphrodisiacs, can you think of any other aphrodisiac um, foods? No, honestly, I have no idea, but I'd love to know. So if you have a list, yeah, let comments, us know, because Valentine's I am curious. Day is coming up, yeah, and I want to yeah. know. And but I'm glad you brought up chocolate-covered strawberries, because Corey's got to make them. Oh, yeah. You know, but oh, I yeah. think that's more and again, of, like, I think it's, your... I think, well, and again, I really think that the whole personal thing plays in here, too, because mm -hmm. some people might have a food that makes them go... They always get randy afterwards. You know Spaghetti. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that long noodle. <laughs> Chili. <laughs> it's meaty. <laughs> you can think of like anything to go with it. Hot I pockets. will. <laughs> it's a it's pocket. A pocket. <laughs> it is a hot pocket. Um, anyway, I want wow, your hot pocket. <laughs> That's a joke we have. That's why I was like, that went too far. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. That's why I was like, I can't say that about Hot Pockets. So I was just like, it is a Hot Pocket. Um, but yeah, you can do that with almost Can you hand food. me that flashlight? It's not a real... I mean, that was a that was a flashlight joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I mean flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> um, <sighs> but I can't really think of any other foods. Yeah, I like, don't know off the top of my head other than something that's personal to you that makes you, maybe it's just because it's like reminiscent. Because like I have songs that can they maybe? turn me on, but not because the song. You could watch Game of Whatever. Thrones. That's a yeah, big that's like, a way to aphrodisiac. Especially why you got that frozen banana you're trying to show your man how far back it can go. <laughs> then Game of Thrones has got all the visual all aids. Going on. <laughs> but, so I guess that's a perfect way to move into sex magic, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, who's heard of sex magic? Sex magic. Sex magic. Sex so magic. I would it's love not to. taboo, guys. It's sex magic. It's not. It, it's it, magic. You know, it's a very natural thing. Like when you think about it, as we were talking oh, earlier. I mean, it's a. 
It's all it's about intimacy. Thing. It's an yeah. intimate, personal thing. It is. And you can, um, you know, a lot of people will use, like, their orgasm or their partner's orgasm to focus on an intent. intent. Or even if you're not focusing on an intent, you're spiritually connecting with this person. Your yeah. bodies are literally becoming one, one body. Right. Well, and, and yeah. I've always followed the train of thought with sex, ma sex magic. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it wants to come out as sex. <laughs> it is sex, S-E-X sex magic that um it's more powerful if you are both focused on the same intention and at those those few times where you get to both orgasm at the same time it's like the release of power is just so like i love that intense. i'm not, not to be like i like, love let's that i love that but like you said it. it barely i mean i'm not because of anyone's fault, but it does rarely happen when it comes to, to right. male and female. Yes, women. exactly. So, like, even even taking sex magic out of it, that in and of itself is such a powerful thing. So when you right. both have the same intention in, and you're trying to use that power that you're about to release mm -hmm. to the same ends. Like, I've read about a woman that was able to buy a house by oh, she and her yeah. partner utilizing sex magic. I also think it's quite beautiful when you utilize sex magic when you're trying to conceive a child. Oh, I think, absolutely. like... Um, so like all of my, you intentionally con conceived, yes, my I did not ever intentionally conceive. Um, the closest to intentional conception I ever got was learning a position that you lay in after copulation so as to result in a boy. And I was like, well, if I'm going to get pregnant, well, I that? wanted was a boy. It the the uh, leg is in the air? Yes, yes, yes. When you're because yeah, I was like, that. I'm just chilling after sex anyway. So if I'm gonna get knocked up from this, it may as well be a boy, because uh, we have. Ross I did that, that and point. I had a boy. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I did not. Not to be <laughs> gross. I just. Yeah. No, you're like, fine. Is that fucking gross? To no, say? you're fine. I did this fine. I brought it up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're talking about sex magic. Um, like. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, <laughs> um, for me, I did, I did uh, intentionally conceive and. You know, I would like to say sex magic had a play at that because I know the exact moment that I conceived my son. I know the yeah. exact day. Mm -hmm. um, I know exactly what happened. Just like with this one, I know the exact day. I, I know. I just know. You know, like, I know that's weird. And you can't just know. But I well, do. Well, no, lots of people do. Lots like, of people. Like I said, I never... I know exactly when one of mine was conceived. That's it. Um, otherwise, like, well, actually, okay, so I do know. When I but anyway, like, but the bottom line is, like, it, it, it's more, I think it's more common than most people think uh, that women are very aware. Because I've had, In tune you know, their bodies, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, very aware. You're like, fuck, like, this just yeah. happened. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's, like... I, I, I believe you when you say like I believe oh, that's totally uh, about, absolutely because you know I mean? when I was when I got pregnant with this one I was like yeah. Amber I just yeah. had sex last night I think I'm pregnant oh yeah. no well you didn't say I, that no, you were like, like you should figure <laughs> yeah right or are you <laughs> I don't know but like I just love that I told what, you the day yeah. after and then it fuck, I'm like it's, it's it's in my happen. head I go it makes me think of when I did this. It's funny because I didn't mean it at all, but one of those things that Corey got out of the sex vending machines, it was, it said, uh, birth control, right? And it's this little round white cardboard card, right? And it says birth control, place between your knees and flip it over. And on the other side, it's the same thing. So it's birth control. You place it between your knees. That's how it works. You can't. Oh, open you can't it. open it. Oh, that took me a minute. I was I like, know. is it like a diaphragm? Like, no, yeah, no. You put it between your knees and you can't get pregnant. That's so funny. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> and when I did this this time on the show, that's what it made me think of. That's not why I did it in your house that day, but that's immediate. I was like, oh, that's funny. Birth control. <laughs> So, but, um, yeah, sex magic is very powerful. It's something that if you're interested in, you should definitely look into it. It is a powerful magic. It is. Lots of people utilize it. And some people um, take advantage of it. I mean, you, that's where you have to be careful. Yes. No, um, I guess it depends on your belief. Like yeah. some it, people, it's something, myself like included, I said, you I, know. I started off with it being intimate, right? right I think exactly. it's something you should practice with an intimate partner. Mm -hmm. That is my belief. Mine but as well, because yes. of what you're saying, because you can be taken advantage of. And, and you're, you're in energy. a very vulnerable. Yeah. 
Yes, your you're energy. You're literally allowing them into your body, mm -hmm. or if you're the male in the situation mm -hmm. and you're with a female, you are entering another's mm -hmm. body. It's a sacred it's a experience. It is. It is sacred. Um, well, and I, I speak specifically with like, uh, I mean, have sex with whoever you want, but I'm specifically yeah, no, referring yeah, to totally. sex magic. Um, be careful because yeah. I, I knew a person, um, not a very good person, who used sex to to uh, draw other people's energies into her own and uh, use it magically. And you hear that and you think, oh, that only happens in movies. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, I, it, that, people are, people, people, so That people. is called a succubus and we are going to have an episode. Yes, I mean, yeah, I can't real too. succubuses versus Right, the, I wonder, uh, should, should, should I do this side? next week? <laughs> <laughs> succubi, yeah, succubi, it's succubi. Okay, yeah, okay. It's incubi and succubi <laughs> when you're talking about plurals. But, yeah. but yeah, you know, yeah. so, yeah. um, which is a weirder word somehow than succubus. It is, it is. It is. So I, I, I just recommend personally yeah, when being, it comes to sex yeah, magic doing it I with someone you someone trust. trust. Yeah. Versus like, I'm going to go to the bar. Or, and, yeah, exactly. Know. And I'm going to manifest this shit after mm -hmm. I pick this guy up and we fuck. Also, yeah. is that, is that, a, that, it's using somebody else's energy right. against yeah, exactly. will. So are like, you Like, is that, that yeah, you know? yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's, and that's why. <clears throat> I say, like, it should be with, like, an actual partner, somebody mm -hmm. who's informed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, and ideally, if they are going to participate, that's mm -hmm. even better. Well, and everybody you know. has their own beliefs. Yeah, and totally. I'm, I'm just talking about mine. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we would love to hear what you think. So Tell us in the comments. Yes. Let us know on our Twitter at Classiest Witches. Yes, or check out our Instagram at Witches Talking Tarot. Yeah. Um, so what are your plans for Valentine's Day, and yeah. how do you plan to make it vagical? Yeah. <laughs> what herbs do you like? Like, I like jasmine for love. I like Rose cinnamon and for love. Cinnamon. I you know, like as a married person, you know, I created last year. I told you about it. I created a love potion for my husband. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a chai latte tea base, Yum. and to add uh, cinnamon and vanilla and some mm -hmm. other things too. And then I made an oil that would go along with it. So serve him the drink, and I wear the oil. And I've I've said the incantations with all of it. And it's not to trick my husband. We love each other. We've mm -hmm. been married for right. twenty plus years. We have a strong bond. And I just wanted to create a love spot to enhance that bond use you know it like you had said like it, keeping the flame alive keeping that right. magic alive that's something we as married people need to do and valentine's day is historically like as far as americans go like that's like if you're a married person it's all about making magic with your partner right? i like the idea of both people drinking the tea yes yes no like yeah yeah no definitely know? yeah mm -hmm. it was well yeah, the, I was going to consume the tea as well, but it was mostly I think you said for him. Some, yeah. I think it was, I, the plan was to share it. We may or may not have had a fight last year, so I'm doing. No, I'm trying again sucks. this year. Why do I never even made it. Way to I was ruin pissed. it. I know, men. You know, whatever. You Partners, will. not just men. Women do it's it just, too. I'm sorry. Women do it too. My husband is very like. Not necessarily skeptical, but if I make him an herbal tea with herbs, he's like, "What's this for?" Just you know, just just fucking drink it. Just drink it. And he's like, mm. so for the record, Corey was well aware that I was making a love. Yeah. Potion. Oh, I'm sure. I would. I like, would have told my husband uh, as well. But yeah. he's just so. Like, didn't you guys like make love brownies? We too. made love brownies yesterday yes, for so, bringing yeah, that up. First of all, I bought a book witch, yes. called kitchen, kitchen Witchery, Making Love in the Kitchen or something like yeah. that. And it's all... Which is also fun when oh, nobody's it's, home. Oh, it's not even just fucking desserts. Yeah, it's, no, I was talking about uh, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch the stove. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even desserts or all desserts. Some of it's desserts. Some of it's like... like um, actual food. Actual like food. entrees and stuff. Like, so like you can make an entire love meal yes. for Valentine's Day. And we Day. made love brownies. Brownies, first of all, never going back to box brownies. That homemade shit was ten oh, times yeah. worse than the fucking dollar shit. Fuck that Betty Crocker. Mm, maybe it comes in fucking handy when I don't want. But anyway, point is, first yeah, of all, they so were much fucking better. delicious. Absolutely. From but what we had done delicious. was made it from scratch and stirred it with our intention. And then mm -hmm. you write with your fingertips, clean your hands, guys, um, in the oil, your intentions as you oil the pan. Beautiful. And then I you can love carve that. it. Oh, it was. I forgot. You had told it was me about delicious. It. Yeah. yeah, and, and it like was fudgy. My my ideal for the potion is that I will stir in my intentions for oh, our marriage, absolutely. and then we will both drink them in. And his intentions as well. He's more than welcome to add to it. You just you've met my husband. He's probably not going. I can't believe mine did. 
I really can't. But yeah, I, I mean, like, he's just not going to add any. He's like, you're, what you've said is fine. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I'm married to a man of few words. Oh, very, yeah, very I, I understand. A lot of them are four letter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, um, but there's just, yeah. You know, but you can make self love food as well. Like, make the oh, same yeah. brownies, but make, make it self love. Right, or make your favorite dish because you want to treat yourself. Treat That's self love. Exactly. Yeah, Speaking like, treat you don't yourself. have to wait for a special occasion to make a dish you love. Right, Because Spe you want to make yourself. Exactly. Happy. Yeah. Speaking of treat yourself, uh, purchase some things. Buy yourself some yeah. shit. Small business shit. But, yeah. like, for real. Like, I mentioned, yeah. Yeah, go retail shopping. therapy. Yeah. Retail Oh, yeah. Maybe you're like, bummed out. Maybe Fuck you it. don't want to go outside because it's cold, so resell therapy on Etsy or oh, right, wherever. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I'm very interested to hear how everybody plans on spending yes. their Valentine's Day. You can go into detail. I do not mind. Yeah, I don't think Andrew mind. does. We want to know. Yeah. What's the tea? We got the Twitter tea for a reason. Our, which is talking tarot. <laughs> we want the tea. You That's know what I mean? right. <laughs> Damn, we need to make a t shirt with a tagline with that. So uh, I know, right? Yeah. I like what's Just a the cup tea? of tea. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we got our twenty dollar Patreons, and yeah. that is Dallin and M Melissa. They Love are you guys. only two for Thank now. You. So if you want to get a if shout out, shout check out, out yeah. our Patreon. And it's actually, you don't even have to be a twenty dollar Patreon oh, no, for the no, shout no. out. Yeah, I think the shout out's in a lower level. So exactly, they just they're twenty dollars, and, and if they you get think it. this whole this whole yeah. like episode was hilarious, and yeah, you check out more. our behind the scenes, right? <laughs> like. And subscribe on YouTube, which yeah. is Talking Tarot. Follow us on Twitter at, at Classiest, Classiest Witches. And check out some love spell ideas that we'll find for you on our Instagram. Instagram yes. Which is Talking exactly. Tarot. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so, ch yeah. Yeah. Check us out. Check, uh, it check out, out our and next episode. Check out our next episode. We're going to be talking on about Thursday. Cupid. Yes. And Psyche, just in time for Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. So we thank you for coming to sit with us a spell. We really appreciate it. We know you could be listening to pretty much anything else out right, there on exactly. the airwaves. And you've chosen us. So. And chosen us in our vagical V-Day. Yes, I keep saying right. that. I'm so uh, that is so the title of this episode. It yeah, right. Vagical. Vagical, vagical V-Day. Yeah. <laughs> all vagical. right. Well, see you all the next episode. We'll see you next time, guys.